Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your IP camera so you can view its live stream online. We'll go through everything you need to know from finding your public IP address to setting up port forwarding. Let's get started. Before we get started, you'll need the following information. The local IP address of your camera, the public IP address of your network, your router's username and password, your camera's username and password, and of course your camera connected to the router. With this information ready, Let's dive in. Now let's get the public IP address of your network. This one's easy. Open up your browser and go to Google. In the search bar, type, what's my IP address? The first result should show you a series of numbers. That is your public IP address. Take note of this because we'll use it in the next steps. The next, we're gonna set a port forwarding on your router so you can access your camera remotely. For this video, I'll be using a TP-Link router as an example, but don't worry the steps are similar across most router models. If you're using a different model and need additional help, feel free to contact IPCAM Live support at support at ipcamlive.com for assistance. So let's start and first open a web browser and type your router's local IP address into the address bar. It's often something like 192.168.1.1. Log in with your router's username and password. Once logged in, look for an option labeled advanced, then find that forwarding or port forwarding. Select virtual servers. And then click on add. Now, Let's set up a port forward for the OnVIF protocol. For interface name, select your broadband connection. Set service type to OnVIF. Enter 8080 as the external port. Now for internal IP, enter your camera's local IP address. Enter 80 as the internal port. Select protocol all. Check the Enable This Entry box and click Save. Next, we'll add a second port forward for RTSP and click on Add again. Set service type to RTSP. An external port to 554. Use your camera's local IP for internal IP. And 554 as the internal port. Select protocol all and click save. To confirm your ports are open, go to egetsignal.com forward slash tools forward slash open dash ports and enter the port numbers. All right, now for the final step, setting up your camera on IPCAM Live so you can see the live stream. Here's what to do. Log in to your IPCAM Live account and click the new camera button. Here you have two options. If you already know your camera's RTSP URL, select add new camera RTSP slash HTTP stream. Enter the RTSP URL in the field that pops up and click test. You should see a preview of your camera stream. Click add camera and then pick your service type. Once you're ready, click Select. To view the stream, simply click on the Live button. If you need help finding your camera's RTSP URL, visit our camera landing pages. Each brand's RTSP URL is listed there for your convenience. And finally, Let's see, what if you don't know the RTSP URL? If you don't know your RTSP URL, no problem. Just follow these steps instead. 
Choose add new camera via OnVeef. Enter your public IP address from earlier, followed by the external OnVeef port. Enter your camera's username and password, and then click Discover. You might see multiple options. Uh, select the highest quality stream, which is usually called the main stream. Once you've selected it, click the little plus sign to add it. Now, check if your RTSP URL needs a username and password. If it does, go ahead and enter those, then click Test to preview your stream. Uh, once everything looks good, click Add Camera, select the service type, and then click Select. And there you have it. Now you can click the live button in IPCAM Live to view your stream. Thanks for following along. I hope this guide made the process easier.